Welcome back to Eric Plummer's story. I'm Fire Nation and this is Project Zomboid. Alrighty everybody, so surviving a total of two days, 131 zombies dispatched. Looks like the weather has uh, gotten a little bit better. So what I want to do, this is kind of going to have to be our base of operations for the time being. So I want to clear out these zombies and then we're going to have to get on this road and explore down that way. Hopefully we can find some houses and stuff like that so that I can get some books going on and get a better idea of where I'm at. But let me get to work on these zombinos and we'll go check that car out. Maybe there's something else over there too. I don't know. I've never been on this side of the map as far as I know. There's some scissors right there. Alrighty, so that's most of them dealt with in this little area here. Um, we did get a wild raccoon's leather jacket. Does it have the same stats as what I'm wearing? Because this one's a little more cool. 20 and 40. 20 and 40. Yes. Let's uh, wear that. And we found some leather gloves on this biker. And he had a crash helmet. I just put on a new hat, but oh well. So let's watch out for these guys. Now we're a biker. Still haven't gotten to this car quite yet. Um, also, I did pick up the scissors. There we go. Come on. Go to the ground. Come on. Mr. Ponytail. There we go. Um, do you have any weapons, Miss Police Gal? No? Let's just smoke real quick. And then let's check out this vehicle and see if there's anything maybe further afoot here. There's a sign up there which probably says, uh, maybe entering Rosewood or somewhere else. I don't know what's to the left of us. I know two words the south would be rosewood god that guy took a beating anybody coming no not seeing any keys on the ground just yet no key in the ignition what about the glove box more alcohol wipes okay Let's crouch so we don't draw any unnecessary attention a garbage bag let me see let me have a good look at the ground here those keys are really hard to spot sometimes for me i'm not seeing one Get out of here, sir. Yeah, I'm not seeing a key here. This might be a, a little bit better condition than what we have, but that's all right. Also, I don't know if I've ever looted a pizza world, so let's give it a shot. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've never looted a pizza world. I think I went into a couple spiffos and then realized like you get a little bit of food out of them and not much else. I've never really gone into the restaurants again. Probably a bunch of ice cream in here. The metal door that got broken down. How's our weight? 73 and going up. Okay, we'll, we'll grab one of these. Um, also, yeah, let's just dump this stuff in here. I am definitely going to need a keybind. I need you. What else did, did I replace? Oh, that's it. Okay, good. Couple vending machines. Take the chips. I gotta sneeze. Okay, I think that's over with. At least I hope. Eat that zucchini. Take this beer for helping us sleep. I love this proximity loot mod. Oh my god, it's so nice. Banana, orange soda, onion, metal sheet here, some door hinges. No metal pipes, sadly. Fill up our water. Now, I saw a guy in here, so I should actually be careful. I don't know where he went. Um, flour... Tomato paste, bunch of cheese, bunch of pepperonis uncooked pizza yeah not 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 a whole lot not terrible loot i mean this is a good place to come for food have a slice of pizza at least in the early days this is a good place to come okay and i do believe that is the entirety of all the stuff over here in our immediate area that we can uh scavenge i didn't see anywhere else up there this is a big parking lot no nothing else over there let's check the bottom side i think we got a good foothold here we just need to be careful when we go to re-enter the city. I gotta be real mindful that I don't get pinned up somewhere that I can't get out of. Okay, yeah. Let's go out to that road and have a look. I only see one Bambino, two Bambinos. Hey, hey, don't you walk away from me. I'm feeling good tonight, so I'm gonna record a couple episodes so that I don't have to do it after work. There we go. And I'll have a bit more time to work with and not be in a rush to get an episode done so I can have it up later that day. More often than not, that's how I die. <laughs> okay, there's that sign there that says, yeah, food and gas and stuff like that. Take a look at our map. So I'm assuming this spawn point is here 
and you can get back into the city. You just have to, you know, drive, or if you're unlucky, you have to walk. Fortunately, Eric was pretty lucky, and we got ourselves a working vehicle. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day getting what I need in there, and then we're going to have to go out and explore. We can always retreat back here. Unless it gets crazy, I'll reconvene with you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So we are now almost on our third day. 154 zombies dispatched. Our weight's at 75, so we should drop from the underweight category here really quick. Got a skill up in cooking. Pick this up, pick this up, and then I'll just leave these. Make sure there's no zombies up here. Leave these, like, right here. There we go. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, no, I did. Yeah, I did get all the loot out of there. I scavenged around, got all the weapons I could into the vehicle, filled up another can of gas, went through all the zombies again, just double checking, see if there was any loot in them. And I think I got everything I need, or at least that I can get in the vehicle right now. So we're gonna go for a drive. We're gonna try to explore to the south a little bit, see if there's anything near us. And if it gets too hectic, well then we'll have to come back here and explore other options. This thing turns on a dime, jeez. I'm assuming, that there's going to be a lot of Zeds. Okay, so in conclusion, I think, yeah, this is Rosewood. The game spawned me outside of the city of Raven Creek. Somebody else commented that. And I didn't think it was possible, but it did it. So we're going to have to go back the other way. Yeah, that's Rosewood. Ah oh, man. That was a long drive, too. What a crock of crap. Why would there be a spawn point outside of Raven Creek's limits? Ah oh, man. Okay. Well, I'll reconvene with you guys when we get back up there. Okay, so it looks like in order for us to get into Raven Creek, we're gonna have to ditch the vehicle and go on our Lamberfides. That sucks. At least I sort of, I don't even have a backpack. At least I sort of know the way. An extra water bottle, get my cigarettes, my nails. Maybe eventually we can get back out here to get this stuff. Take all of that. Oh, hello. Take all of that. Uh, take the propane torch for sure, my weapons. Boy, that really sucks. I guess that kind of qualifies as Raven Creek out there. I'm gonna take a gas can, my cigarettes, all this really light food. Um, yeah, I guess an extra water bottle. Okay, and you know what? I'm actually going to ditch this club hammer inside of here once you jump in to start going into raven creek um that's it there is no return especially if you don't have a sledgehammer like me so basically what we need to do there could be military gear and stuff in here and it's very likely that i'd be able to find a backpack here however there is absolutely no way i'm gonna clear all these zombies that's kind of a kick in the pants if I'm honest, I really need you guys to not be there. They they know. They know exactly where I'm trying to get. <laughs> and they just crowd around it. Okay. We're gonna have to go like this. Nope, no, why? No, 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 no. Jump over. Okay, okay, we tripped. We tripped. What did we get hit with? Scratched. Okay. Disinfect it. Oh, I can't. Just be oh, it was on the leg too. I'm not gonna be able to do this without stopping. Nope. What a kick in the pants, man. What a kick in the pants. Get that on there. Okay. We can disinfect it later. This is gonna be impossible on a brand new character. We had such a lucky start too. Such a lucky start. At least our gimp isn't too bad. We've got a can of gas. Uh, however, all these cars in here are pretty much borked. Because there's no other way out. I should have just restarted. <laughs> I should have just restarted. 
I don't I don't see this run going anywhere, so ah. However, I am going to try. We're gonna give old mate Eric Plummer a try at getting in. He was scorned by the Raven Creek gods and spawned outside of the city. And I think I need to go out here and then around. Yes, because up there there's barricades and I can't actually get in. Hopefully I might be able to lose some of these zombies on my tail by going through the woods. Oh god, there's even more. There's even more. Oh, I have done this once before on foot and made it into the city. <sighs> Just gonna have to be careful. Oh wow. Yeah, I made the right choice. You have to come out here. Just really sucks that I dove over the sandbag and scraped my chin on a, I don't know, a nail. I don't think the zombies got me. Okay. Oh, buddy boy. Eric, I feel bad for you. I thought I was in the city. I thought I was in a good spawn, but nope. Nope. The game's like, haha. Why, why, why? Why would there be a spawn point outside of Raven Creek? Or Raven Creek. There's a backpack. But my chances of getting that are zero. Oh, jeez. Louise. Yep. 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 This is where it gets bad. You get all the zombies from the city in here. And it only gets worse. That lady had a shotgun. There's the exertion. Not good. <laughs> well, we lost the uh, underweight category. So that's a perk. <laughs> <sighs> if this was a further along character, I would never attempt this at this point in the game. All right, we dropped the exertion. That's good. Maybe... We can lose some of these Zeds and get a break in the trees here. Just gonna keep walking. I don't want it to get worse. Left shin, yeah. Scrape my shin on a nail. Alright, they're slowed down by the trees. Disinfect that bad boy. Get it bandaged back up. Okay. And we got a short little break in. We're just gonna have to keep trucking on. I think that was our only shot at a break. And this is going to dump us right in to the middle of the city. There we go. Get some speed walk going on. Just gotta watch out where you're going. Hoi! Let's have a cigarette. When I first did this, I thought, oh crap, I screwed up. There's no way in. But no, there's a break in the fence up here. So if you're looking for a way into Raven Creek and uh, you don't have a sledgehammer, this is one way you can do it. Although, as you can see, this is very dangerous. You can't hop these fences. And I don't even know if you can destroy them, but I think you can destroy the barricades that lead into the city. I would assume you'd be have to be able to. There's a break in the fence right after this corner. Oh, we got nailed again. On the neck, too. We are just having one heck of a time. Get out of here. If I remember right, there was a break in the fence over here. Ooh. That was close. I specifically remember there being a break in the fence up here. Yeah, it's right there. Right where all those zombies are headed. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Give him a little bit of a wide berth. Hey. We duped him. We duped him. We're in. Oh, gosh. We're in. All right. Now we just keep walking straight through the middle of downtown. Or, no. Uh, 
Yeah, there's a lot of zombies behind us. Oh god. <laughs> it's like a slideshow. We're just gonna have to be careful. We're just going to have to be careful. And somewhere along the line, we're gonna have to ditch all these Zeds. I think I spawned up here. One of the earlier characters. Probably zoom in a little bit to get some frame rate. Health is doing fine. Is that a rooftop pool? Look at this bad boy. Oh, man. If we only had a second to spare. But yeah, we're not going to get that. I could gas that up. And maybe it, maybe it would have a key. Oh, look, here's our little Pinto car. It's going to have to keep going, man. It's the only way that I know to get into Raven Creek from the outside. Here's the gas station. You know what? Um, I'm actually going to book it through and down from here. Try and drop off some of these Zeds. There's a hole in the fence down there. This looks like it could be... There's a hole up there. I might be able to ditch some of these Zeds right here. And get a break. Just stay low. Try to stay quiet. Ah, Get over by this building where we can at least see. Just need to rest for a bit. I have no idea what this building is here. But it could save my life. Please go away. There we go. There we go. Okay, they're on to me. They are on to me. How many is it? Just a couple? Oh god, no. They all made their way over here. Alright, well, goal accomplished. We got a little bit of a break. <sighs> Maybe we jump this fence. I don't know. I don't know. Exertion's back. Oh god, that's even worse. That's much worse. Much, much worse. Get back over. Nope. Nope. Get a little distance. Try again. Get over. Oh, yes. I'm just going to continue through the trees, I guess. We are Mr. Treeman. Oh, boy. There's a tent out here. I had no idea. That's cool. And there's a trail. Please let me lose some of these Zeds. I'm hoping this will spit us out towards a residential area. And soon. Otherwise, we are donezo. I know if I keep heading left, we should eventually get to a spot. What's this? This might be good. This might be good. I only see a couple in there. And there's a chair. And it doesn't look like these guys can get to me. Okay. <sighs> Those Zeds over in that, that corner on the other side of this fence turned around. So they might actually know a way through. Let's just take a break here. Building over there. This looks like an apartment complex. If I keep heading that way, we should get to... uh. The residential areas. I'm gonna eat these chocolate covered coffee beans. Boy, that tent would be real nice. Pitch that up in here. Clear these guys out for the night. I don't think that's going to happen though. Maybe we try to get into here? This looks like a two story building. One thing's for sure I've got to get. Um this exertion off of me. Boy, this is a heck of a run. Alcohol wipes. All I've got left are dirty rags. That sucks. Did I get rid of my socks already? No, I still have them. Here we go. Here's some uh, rags. Just gotta stay over here in the corner and hopefully not aggro more. 
Okay, let's get this off. They broke that door down. Rip sheets. Yeah, I got one left. Put the dirty rags on this guy. Rip his shirt up. Boy, stress full. Ah, looks like there's zombies coming through here. Yeah, they just broke that gate down and they're on to me. I would love to get over to that chair. It looks like there's a metal pipe up here. I'm gonna take some painkillers and some vitamins. This guy's got a satchel. That could help us. That could help us. All right, the exertion's gone. Pain's going down. Good, good. Uh, is there anything in here? No. Whipped on back. Just get down. Favorite these. Ooh. And all of this go into here. And all of this go into here. Put you away. It's gas can. No, it's full. That's fine. That is fine. Put the food in there. Alcohol wipes can go in there. These vitamins can go in there. Got two left over here and then one beating on that door. Try and aggro this gal or him. That's fine. We're going to have to get into this building and and see if we can find a place to sleep. Anywhere, really. Even if it's on the ground. Come here, love. Yeah, one zombie over there. She's stuck? I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, maybe she's stuck. Old mate got through. There's two. Getting my rest in, though. Alright, creep back. Yeah, I guess she's stuck. Nothing on you guys. Might as well finish our rest. Old mate's on to me. Oh, boy. I am trying my best. I am trying my best to make it. Alright, got a brand new metal bar. I'm actually going to trade this out for the shovel. Can that fit? It can. Good. Alright, let's go back over here. I'm trying to micromanage this as best as possible. Get our rest in. Okay. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I assume we're going to have to do some more fighting to get into that building, so take some pain pills now. Ooh, this is crazy. Concrete powder, garbage bags, empty bottles. I'm gonna stay low. There's another metal bar right there. Metal pipe, I will be taking that. Actually, just equip that. Oh, those windows are up on the second level. Gotta be a way in. Gotta give me an end game. Door. Door here. And there's a window. That is locked. Couple Zambinos out there. Couple Zambinos in here. This looks like a school. I only see two in there. Three. Please don't get stuck on each other. Yeah, I'm going in. Oh boy. Zombie just came out of there. I guarantee, yep. Where are they? They're sitting right over here. I don't want them, yeah. I don't want you out here breaking windows at random, Mr. Suit and Tie. Close that. Yeah, hi, come on, come here. I need you guys to not. Another one, yet another one. That's out in the hall. I can hear more over here. Whew, this is stressful. Get some water. I hope there's like a teacher's lounge or something up here that we can, uh, ooh, there's a key that we can get a, um, couch or something like that to sleep on. That would be nice. Let's eat. Did I get that key? Oh, well, here's another key. Give me that. A little bit glitchy. Little bit glitchy here. Come on. There we go. Kept switching between the two zombies. Classrooms, little lounge with the library. Oh yes, Carpentry 1. Oh, Hunter Magazine. Good cooking, Fishing Magazine. Blaine's Auto Manual. Oh, oh, oh. Good cooking. Bunch of tailoring books. Like all the, the tailoring and mechanic books. Precision vehicles, windows and crafting. It must be from a mod. Oh, this looks like home, ladies and gentlemen. A chair in here I can sleep on. Let's get a little rest. Smoke real quick. We're gonna have to take care of the zombies up here. Otherwise, I'm never gonna wink of sleep. More sinks and stuff. Oh, yeah. Chocolate bars. There's gotta be, a, like, a teacher's, teacher's lounge up here, right? Somewhere? Maybe we'll find a decent backpack. There it is. There's the microwave. Definitely hear a zombie over here. Though they could just be sitting on the side of the building. Oh yes. Oh yes. There's a couch. We have a way of cooking food. Lane's auto manual. Secret passageway monthly. Nice little bathroom. I'm guessing those zombies are probably downstairs. Oh. And there's a TV. <laughs> and there's a TV. Oh wow. That's a lot of Zeds. Stuck on the locker. You know what? Nah, nah. I'm just gonna creep into the back of this place. I need carpentry too for that. I'm gonna pop a squat. 
If you find yourself enjoying the content, leave a like and consider subscribing. You're one click away from joining the Fire Nation army and we made it into Raven Creek. Boyo boyo. Almost four days, 179 zombies dispatched. Make sure to stay tuned in for more of Eric Plummer's story. It's a heck of a one so far. I need to address my bandages and I will catch you guys in the next one. Big welcome and thank you to all the new and returning subscribers and a big welcome to all my channel members. You guys are amazing. I appreciate all of you. Member, subscriber, or not. Um, and also, you guys aren't just subscribers and watch time to me. You guys are friends. You're friends of the channel. Friends of Eric Plummer. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Swip!